Alright, let's continue solving sample number 6. Uh, we will be looking for the derivative of arctan 2x over x. Now, let's use the pattern again for arctangent u. For the derivative of arctangent u, we have the derivative of u over 1 plus u squared. And since we are looking at a uh, quotient here, we are going to use the derivative of quotient. For the derivative of quotient, we have the answer, the um, denominator multiplied with the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator multiplied with the derivative of the denominator all over the square of denominator. Okay, so let's solve the problem. Now this problem here, this uh, example, we will apply first the quotient rule. So for dy, so we have here for the derivative of y is equal to the uh, denominator then the derivative of the numerator. So the derivative of arctangent 2x here is having u as 2x so the derivative of u is 2 over 1 plus our u here is 2x okay so that's the first one minus okay so we will now have here minus arctan 2x and then the derivative of the uh, denominator which is derivative of x is equal to 1 over the square of the denominator okay so this becomes 2x all over 1 plus 4x squared minus arctan 2x over x squared again this uh, value here will be multiplied not on the angle, so it should not be multiplied to the angle, but rather it will be multiplied to the whole arctan 2x. Okay, so this becomes. plus 4x squared we have here 2x minus so we have here <coughs> arctan 2x multiplied with <coughs> 1 plus 4x squared and don't forget it's all over x squared okay so we just get a common denominator here and then, since uh, we are dividing here the quotient at the numerator with the denominator, so let's copy what is the numerator. So we have there 2x minus 1 plus 4x squared. Again, this is multiplied with the whole arctan 2x and not just on the angle 2x arctan 2x over 1 plus 4x squared to be multiplied with the reciprocal of the denominator which is 1 over x squared so the reciprocal of x squared is 1 over x squared and that is equal to 2x minus 1 plus 4x squared arctan 2x all over x squared 1 plus 4x squared and that is the answer so that is 4 Example number 
six. Okay, next, we have example number seven. So for example number seven, find the derivative of one plus x squared multiplied with arctan x minus x. Now, I've used this before as a uh, midterm exam problem. And uh, I observed that some students took this as the angle. So what happened is, it's x minus x, it becomes 0. But no, this is actually uh, arctan x minus a separate x. Okay, so since we're dealing with arctan, so let's use the pattern for arctan. The arctan u, derivative of arctan u is equal to du dx, derivative of u over 1 plus u squared. And since we're dealing with uh, quotient here, this is the u, u part here, and this is the b. For the quotient rule, we're using this pattern. For the derivative of u, v, that is equal to u multiplied by the derivative of v plus v multiplied by the derivative of u. Okay? So let's answer this problem. Therefore, dy, applying the quotient rule, we have 1 plus x squared. Then the derivative of arctan x. For the deriv derivative of arctan x, this will be our u. So for that, du dx becomes 1. So this is 1. And then since x is our u, this is 1 plus x squared. Then we're not done yet. In the uh, quotient rule, we just done this part. Now next part is here. Plus, we copy arctan x, then the derivative of 1 plus x squared is 0 plus 2x. And we're not done yet again. We still need to consider this portion. Some students forgot this part. Okay, and that is derivative of x will be one okay then that's now uh, what is this so we can cancel this one out already because they're the same it becomes one plus this portion here is to be multiplied to the whole arctan x and not just the x so this becomes 2x arctan x minus 1 since we have there 1 positive 1 and the negative 1 so we can cancel that one out so what's left here is 2x arctan x so this is the answer for number 7 Next, we have number 8. Find the derivative of square root of arc sine x. So, this kind of problem has two possible answers. Number 1 is having the uh, radical sign. And number 2 is by converting the radical sign into the exponent 1 half. Since arc sine, we're using arc sine. Let's use the pattern for the derivative of arc sine. That is, the derivative of the angle u all over square root of 1 minus u squared. And then, for the derivative of the square root of u, we have here the square root of u, which is inside, over 2 times the square root of u. Okay, let's apply that to the problem. So first, let's apply the pattern here. So our u here is arc sine. So 
So, what is the derivative of the arc sine x? The du here is derivative of x is 1 all over square root of 1 minus the u here is x squared. Okay, so that is the du. Now for the dy, so from the pattern here, the, the du is this portion. So we just substitute. So dy is now equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared and over 2 square root of what is the u? What is the u being mentioned here? That is the arc sine u. The u from this pattern is square root of u. So again, this requires practice. The more you practice problems like this, the more you familiarize with the uh, steps and the more easier it becomes in solving these kinds of problems. Okay? And then what happens here is that we are dividing a quotient with the denominator. Copy the numerator 1 minus x is Weird. Then the reciprocal. We have here the reciprocal, which is 1 over 2 square root of arc sine x. So dy now here is 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared arc sine x okay. so that is the answer or if you are planning on using the power formula ddx u raised to n and u 1 minus n minus 1 dx okay so we can convert this into exponent 1 half so for dy we now have here 1 half copy arc sine x 1 half minus 1 and derivative of arc sine x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared okay so that is 1 half of so that is negative arc sine x so negative 1 half 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared therefore the final answer here is the same 1 all over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared arc sine x. Okay. So the same answer. So that is for example number 8. And lastly, we have Example number 9. For example number 9, we are looking for the derivative of arc second 2x over 3. Now let's follow the pattern for arc second. For arc second, we have there, for uh, the numerator, we have the derivative of the angle u all over u square root of u squared minus 1. So the u here is 2x over 3. Therefore, derivative of u is equal to 2 thirds. So therefore, dy is now equal to 2 thirds all over. So here we finally have the du dx all over the u 
the u here is 2x over t square root of u minus 1. Okay, now this complicates things a bit. That is equal to 2 thirds 2x over 3 square root of this becomes 4x squared over 9 minus 1. Then, 2 thirds 2x over 3 square root of 4x squared minus 9 all over 9. And we know that this one here, this means, this also means similar to, well, this is actually similar to square root of 4x squared minus 9 all over square root of 9. Similar to that. So what happens here is, this is 2 thirds all over 2x3 square root of 4x squared minus 9 all over 3. Now we can combine this 2 here. Okay, so let's use this space here. That is equal to 2 thirds 2x square root of 4x squared minus 9 root over 9. Dividing two quotients. 2 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of the new denominator which is 9 over 2x square root of 4x squared minus 9. Okay. So we will now cancel out 2. We can cancel this one out. We can cancel out the 3 here. So we can extract 3. Therefore, the final answer here is 3 over x square root of 4x squared minus 9. Okay, so that is the answer for number 9. Okay, so that's all for today.